a dazzling display in front of us. Welcome to Wild Earth. My name's Tara, I'm your guide. And Herman is on camera. I'm starting to get quite attached to this herd, I must admit. And I think over the few days of seeing them, I think they may be starting to recognise us too. They seem to be quite relaxed in our presence. <laughs> Maybe being used as a scratching post. As long as everybody's tails are swishing, it means all is well and they can continue grazing in the shadow of the trees around them. Time for grooming, scratching. Maybe a bit of horseplay as well. Now it could be one of the reasons why they do have the stripes is to help with thermoregulation thicker layer of fat underneath the black stripes. Black absorbs the heat, white reflects the heat. It could just be that it sets up a small current which is slight enough to help keep the zebra cool in the heat of the day. But this foal happy to stand in the shadow of its mother. Hi Kimmy, just commenting on the adult using the fall as a scratching post, could it also be considered bonding? Very much so Kimmy, and especially in a family like the zebra, tactile communication is going to be extremely important. And it does strengthen bonds between obviously mother and foal but also members between the herd. And there's communication going on all the time between these members. And there may be very small subtleties that even we can't pick up, but they can. <laughs> she really does have an issue with that older foal. You see the ears pull back and she turned around and tried to kick again. As close as the family members might be, there's still going to be some hierarchy between the mares and the best grazing is still going to be taken by those higher ranking females. It's been a few days being able to view these zebra every day and this fall is getting even closer to us and now that we're getting quite close you can see that there's a lot more brown stripes on it than I thought. So it could possibly be a little bit younger than six months which is what I previously thought it was, maybe about four months old. But it's certainly a privilege to be able to see them this close. You can see on this foal how it's standing, just like a horse when it's taking a rest on its hoof, just lifting its back hoof off the ground slightly. The zebras will sit down or lie down to rest, but they can also stand to rest too. And just before we leave the zebra, I wonder if we can have a quick look at the oxpeckers who've just landed on the 
small herd to the right. You can see quite nicely the red-billed oxpeckers. You might even be able to hear them. They sound like a box of matches rattling. <laughs> Little one dozing. <laughs> 